Hello, everyone. My name is Bruce Wilson, Executive Director of Art So Wonderful, and I've got to talk to my friend Candace Owens from Poetry Pioneer uh, CEO. And so Candace Moment, this is the Candace Moment Show, and we were going to have Candace Moment Show every month. Yes, we are. And uh, I tell you, I am so happy that we, you know, we, uh, I did this, you know, we did this, you know, together, you know, to talk about, um, you know, your goals and aspirations and, you know, um, your spirituality, the light around you. So Candace, you always motivate me every day because you send me, you know, I get a, a affirmation from you mm -hmm. every day, man. And uh, now you got, you have a book out. So Candace, tell us about the book. Well, the book's titled um, Heaven on Earth, Look, oh. the New World Light Creating Affer or the New World Light Creating Heaven on Earth. And it's 60 days of affirmations that I wrote. And then we put them into a book and I got a couple poems in it. And so ever since I was a little girl, I've always wrote poetry. And so, and I said when I was little, you know what, one day I want to write a book. And so we connected and kind of just, I got the motivation. And so I also have a website where I do the blog. Um, and, but the book is, it's a really good book that people should get a hold of if they look for inspiration daily. It's a one that you work along with. So every day I wake up and I say how I feel. And I mean, I'm just honest. Like one day, I think I've even said before, I put, I woke up and my ear hurt, you know, cause I woke up and I was like, you know what? My ear is killing me. It's going to be a rough day. And I had oh, to change man. my mindset with the affirmation, right? Mm -hmm. And that's what the book's about. Just So what's the name of the book again? Um, It's the New World Light, Creating Heaven on Earth, Poetic Affirmations. Right. Nice. All right, nice. You know, I feel like I'm so proud of you, you know, just for doing that. You know, God, now we're about to start a number two book. Wow. I think you said it might be just like all poems or something. What, yeah, what you... I feel like the first one was kind of just to, you know, I was trying to do something a little different. And I did do it differently because just to let everyone know, I'm completely self-published. I did it all through Amazon. Um, and that's a little bit different path sometimes. A lot of people go through, you know, publishers and they they pay for advertisement. But everything that we're doing is self, self-funded. self Like, so it's all just um, out here trying to do it. And um, the second one, I've decided that it's going to be more poems, right? Because I have this huge collection that I already have. I'm going to write some new ones just because I'm inspired by some stuff that's going on right now. So I need to get that out of me. Um, and I'm going to include those in there. And it's just going to be a collection of probably, I don't know, anywhere from nice. like 50 to nice. 60 poems. So it'll be. So, um, wow. So you've been doing some big things. So um, let's talk about um, the um Poetry Party and Art So Wonderful co uh, Poem Contest. You know, yeah. this, so we did, so far we, we're working, we're on our third one now, right? Yeah. So um, let's go over the first one. So the first one was the theme of faith, right? So we did a theme faith, of faith. Yeah. It was the free contest. Every mm -hmm. We had a good submission. Um, we reached out to our winners. That went well. I think the first guest we had some issues getting in touch with, so they weren't able to make it. Mm -hmm. But we still acknowledged them as the winner and everything worked fine. Um, our second one, we had a really huge success. We had several entries from across the country our winner came he was from india he came and spoke well, what do you mean you do have we had um people from around the world not across yeah. the country yeah yeah yeah, yeah. And it was 83 right 83, 83. yeah wow that was a lot yeah, yeah. so this third one <laughs> i'm working on the certificates because everybody's wanting um, i promised them certificates so i have to get it but we had 160 entries and so we recently just did how many? 163, I believe, actually. Oh, God. Yeah. And so um, and there was five countries represented, and um it was it was amazing to see all the and the theme was love. And so the really cool thing is right now with the world the way it is, I think everyone needs these moments to be in that mindset of let's not think about all of the negative, let's do love. So seeing everyone's work was a really awesome, I mean, you have to really focus to read it, but mostly I was really happy to see that it was all positive. 
There's a lot of positives. So um what um what's your what's the um in the information about how to get um buy the book off Amazon? So you can go to Amazon and you should be able to search it. We can probably include the link in this show. So if people want to go and look, um, or you can look on the website, my www.poetrypioneer.com. I have it a link there under books and publications that people can go look at if they don't want to go to Amazon. Mm -hmm. So, but either way, you can just go through. And right now the price is set at $12.99 because it's a hardback cover. So that's a pretty, we want the book to last you. Um, so that will be, it's a really good deal though. I mean, it's going to, it can help transform your life. Well, it did mine and I wrote it. So I don't know how it would affect someone reading it, but I've, I've heard positive feedback from people. So. So, um, you, so you, one thing you said a, a little few minutes ago that, um, it's like a study, you know, you want people to really kind of use it as like, like a text, you know, like a, the study, you know, I don't know if you call it study, what, what, what words did you use? It's not really I think study. it's, I want you to engage. It's not a book that you're just going to read and obtain the information because it's very short affirmations. And so every day I want people to kind of write an affirmation along with me, right? So that you wake up and say how you feel and I leave a big section down at the bottom for people to write. And then you write an affirmation and it doesn't have to rhyme. I like poetry. I can rhyme all day long. Um, probably when it's not even needed, right? Like I love just, I think rhyming is that you could use it for a lot of things, but just the affirmation, just something that you want to set your day with and make it positive. And so that's kind of the goal is to take that 60 day journey. So what is some of the things somebody might write, what, you know, by reading one of your affirmations, what you, what were some of the things they might write, you know, you know, that, it, I don't know, just something like an inspiring or empowerment or just, they can they relate to the affirmation because they're gonna read them all and then each one they'll write something or what what think what do you think that they might write like well, you know I'm just kind of get you know trying yeah, to yeah today um so I'll use the one I sent you today for example right um when the clouds block the sun we can still find a reason to smile and have some fun super simple but I woke up this morning and I came out and I could just tell that there's gonna be clouds and I'm like man. It's fall, really want some sun. But do you see out here? It's sunny now. Mm -hmm. Because I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to go out here. And even if it wasn't sunny, I was still going to try to do the, come out here and do it outside. And I'm like, I'm still going to smile and I'm going to have a good day. So I hope when you know, someone would read that affirmation, they would think the same thing. Like if, even if it was sunny where they're at, they could wake up and say, you know, if let's say it's a hundred degrees where you're at and it's going to be a hot day and the sun's, ba you know, beaming and that doesn't apply to you. But when you read it, you can still take that and think, you know what? I woke up and I feel like it's going to be a really hot day, but I can still make it a good one. It doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of what I want people to write. And so something they could write would be, I woke up and it's hot outside, but I'm still going to make sure that I thrive, you know, like just anything that you're going to, you're going to take action and make the day better. So, so I know, I know um, that um what you know what we both trying to do but i know what you what you're doing and what you what you want to happen is people to like share with others you know what i mean just share their affirmations as well as just uh, um kind of uh, find their own meaning for them whereas that they um can feel like um you know make the world better you know like have it on earth you know or something well and and what i've learned throughout this process to be honest with you is this is a way deeper and bigger than poetry um, because we have people across the world that right now there's a loneliness epidemic across the nations where people are just so isolated and used to technology we have a generation of kids that are on electronic devices and with this poetry and these affirmations you're taking a minute to disconnect to it's shown science has shown if you read it you think it then you write it it does something to the way your brain works and so it there's there's all these little things seem little, but as I've gone along the journey myself, my mindset changed. Now I notice that my thoughts aren't as negative. I automatically wake up and I'm like, boom, I don't care what's on the news. I don't care what I see. God, let's go, you know, let's do this or, you know, let's make it the best day, you know, that we can. And of course there's negative things, but the goal is we can create our own little heavens on earth. Right. And that's why I put and I call it the new world light because 
the world we live in right now, we have to have a new vision for it mm -hmm. because it's, it needs, we all know that. And so, you know, that's the thing though, as he, we can imagine it, we can make it anything we want it to be. And so I think it all starts with us. And that's why we did the, I did the affirmations because it's like, you can do research on it. I don't even have to tell you, you can do your own well, research and say affirmations can change your life. There's all kinds of people that, that write books about it and do the same thing. So they really do because a lot of people, you know, um, you know, every day I wake up, I can, I might be able to, uh, cause I, cause I know you and I, so I could probably put something together. <laughs> some affirmations, some wonderful affirmations that kind of help me through the day. Well, or, if people get stuck and have questions, like um, they're more than welcome to reach out to me. And I don't know how long it'd be before I reply back. But, you know, I'm happy to connect with people because I like to help if I can in any way. So if you're stuck and you're like, hey, I want to write affirmations, I don't know what to do. Please just look on my website and see the contact information and reach out. And I'll do my best to try to help you through that because I know that it some people don't know where to start. And so you just need that, you know, reassurance that, you know, hey, this is where you start. Nice, nice, nice. So, um. What's your, what's the um what's the um your what's it what's your um what's it was poetrypartying dot com what's it what's your that's your web website right poetrypartying yeah. dot com yeah yeah and so they can they can learn a lot about everything we're you're saying right now yeah. um so so this second uh contest one hundred sixty three people right and it was titled we we came up with like faith right though no, you came up with faith I ain't come up with nothing. <laughs> One day, Candice, I'm gonna come up with one, maybe the fourth one. You, you can come up with the yeah, get get yeah. The so um, so I know we had some winners. So what is what what's one of the poems that I'm, I'm asking you to recite it? But what's one of the poems that somebody wrote? Um, maybe you have one. Um, that it, uh, put them in first, second, or third place. Um, let me find it. Because faith means a lot. I mean, it can mean a lot of things, you know. Just having faith. Well, this last contest that we just had was love. The one for faith. Oh, wait, wait a minute. The last one, I mean, what's one? Oh, I got to mix up. So the first one was what? The first one was... Um, was that faith? Positivity. Look, I'm wrong. We've had three. No. The first one was pos just something positive. All right. Um, And then the second one was faith. Right. Okay. That's and I'm then the about. third one was love. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, the faith one right now. The one that's have 163, con what do you call them, contestants? Uh, contestants, what do you do? Poets, I don't know. Yeah, poets, we'll call them poets. Yeah, so what, so you pick first, second, and third, right? I, I know you did, because I'm a part of all this. What inspires you to, um? I mean, um, when some people, when they um submitted their poetry on faith, what to give me some examples of what some people how they what they what faith means to them? Well, um, let me see if I can find you're gonna put me on the spot here. Um I don't have it right away, Bruce, of what and I just read I'm just sorry, my brain set still on the hundred. And 63 right. I read for the mm. last contest. So trying to revert to the one prior to that. Um I'm trying to look on my phone here. You know, um, I know for a fact, you know, my, you know, that you read all 163. I did. Oh, uh, so no, my brain's didn't. blown right now. Like I can't I be like, like, yeah, I remember um two cycles. I can tell you who I know because that the contestant um I've worked very closely with. It was for the theme yeah, of that winner, that winner, you got, do you have that winner's poem? You have that one right in front of you? Um, no, if, if I would have known to have this stuff, I would have wow. had it ready, but I we didn't have a, a goal. Yeah. We're just kind of winging it. So um, hey, the name of this show is Candace Moments and whatever you, yeah, but... you want to do, whatever you want to say. But um, um, that, that first one, I mean, the winner was, that was a good one. That to be, good one. I don't know if I'm saying the, uh, the name right, but it was To Be Mansori was the first place winner. Then we had a second place winner of Preeti Pandey and then a third place winner of Pratik Nagar. 
So yeah. we've had, that was a lot of in, winners from India. Um, we All three times, our winners have been from India. We had second place in the USA this last time, but nice. um, that has, well, in third place from Nepal. But for the theme you're talking about, we had three first, second, and third place winners. So um, what is, I don't know, I should know these answers, but what's the, um this, this contest now, what is it, what's the title? I mean, what do we ask them to write? Um, um, the contest now it doesn't open till October first. Oh, oh, yeah, we don't have one currently open. We okay. are still, oh, yeah. Okay, so so are you thinking about um what the title, what what you feel, how you feel, what they should write about? Okay. Do you, have you thought of that yet? Probably so. I know you might not have the title yet, but I know you thought about it. Okay, I think I'd, hold on, I have to correct myself because I think you put me on the spot here and I gave the wrong people's name for the wrong contest. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I want to correct that because this, if we can even take that out, the previous statement, if they can edit that. But sure. um, if we want to talk about that, I don't, I don't have that information available mm -hmm. to say who those winners are. Mm -hmm. I wasn't, yeah, or, I'm sorry, Bruce. It was okay. Um, um, so let me ask you, so, um, Okay, so the second one was 163. The first one was 83 people contested. Yeah, and wow. the, the second one was only three. So we had, three. yeah. Or no, the second one, I don't remember. I don't have. Let me Wait a minute. How, how many? We have only done two, right? I mean, it's not. No, we've done three. Three, okay. Yeah. Oh, I've got it on my website. Let me go there. Man, I'm, I'm like, I'm so late. Like yeah, see, you're, we're, we're on. I'm like, you're, mm -hmm. you're on. That's why I'm like, yeah, I don't. And we have a fourth one coming up. Oh, this is the fourth one. Wow. I wonder how many people are going to um write on that one. I That's don't know. I mean, it's going to be a pretty, I think it'd be a pretty good turnout. I already have people from the previous contest that are asking for the information. They're ready to submit again. So it seems like we have a lot of people that want to keep re-entering, which I really like the repeat um, because it always brings something different. So mm -hmm. a lot of people are reaching out. And like I said, it's going to open October 1st. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna do the theme of freedom. And our and they'll be on our on our October 14th show. October first. Oh wait a minute. What do we have a, we got a oh I don't know. When's our next show? Is that the part? When is our next show? Okay. I think it, um let me I can look. I think oh I can't I can't ask you to have all the answers. I'm That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I thought we were just gonna be having like moments. I didn't know I needed to no, have that. No. Um, but we can figure it out. I'm looking here. It's this just, is the I'm Candace gonna... moment show. So go ahead, go ahead, Candace. So Candace, so you sitting in your backyard. Where I, nobody can see you but me. But you, what's the temperature right now there? Um, the temperature here is. Let me look. It is. I'm not in Coop. Why does my phone default to Cooperito? I don't know where that is. I just don't even care. Uh, 76. 76. Yeah, that's so. good. Wow. 76 degrees. Mm. Yeah. No, that's nice. That's nice. So, um, so Candace. Yeah. I know. Uh, you might try to pull some karate on me when when I when I you know I finally, you know, see you, see you. I I told you I was like, I took karate too and you know, but you know. You dedicated. So how yeah. do you feel? I know one time you like, man, I got wore out. <laughs> Probably practicing all you all your day at work and then you had to go, you know, and then all up um put your part in your stuff and then you probably had to go um, go to karate. And so how's it going? Well, I got my yellow belt. So yeah. My son's a black belt. So I think I told him he's 10 and I told him that when he got his black belt and was able to take adult classes, I would join with him. And so he's been doing it five years. So I joined, I've been doing it. I don't even know how long, um, but I broke a board and oh, yeah, with my foot and my hand, which I didn't think I could do mm. at 41. So I was really happy about that, but um, I keep going. It motivates me. And it's actually been really fun for me and my son. We find ourselves looking at each other while we're doing the exercises or like he'll motivate. He'll just give me a look like don't give up because we had, you know, I, yesterday it was an hour workout and it's no joke. Like you're doing it's not just kicking like you're push up, sit up, jump rope. I mean, you're doing squats, 
it's 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 awesome it's mental um but I'm realizing my body can do more than I thought I'm like okay let's go let's try this so, so your son Mason she black belt and he um, won some a tournament didn't he yeah week. so he's won a lot of, he's done several several tournaments mm. he typically the funny thing is he likes the part i hate i hate the sparring part where we got to put our gear on and fight like i i'm like i mean i'll do it but it mm. i would rather just i'm there to exercise and support you know my son he loves he's like let's go he's like let's gear up um mm. we've actually geared up and, and play fought together um mm. so it's fun but uh the tournaments, he won third place the last time, and he had a hurt ankle, but we traveled to another town in Bowling Green, or not, it's another town in Kentucky, and um, it was really fun, so he, he, he's doing good, of course, he's wanted to drop out a few times, but I'm like, look, you got this. Well, I know, I know he was on our show, remember? He yeah. Was, he's so cool. Um, So, <clears throat> so you broke a board, which is good. You know, Candace, you're tough anyways, because look, you know, all the things you do, you like, how many how many acres do you mow in your yard? Um, I have a total of how five many? acres I, that I own, but I only have to mow because there's it's a lot of water around me. Right. Um, but two, I gotta mow probably about a two um, acres, but I have chickens and ducks and geese. Right. Let's talk about those chickens. You know, usually, you know, sometimes you will go out, you know, and and we be talking and I hear that what the hell is that out a duck or a geese or <laughs> yeah, I joke around all the time. I'm like, everybody finds their flock. Mine just happens to be happens to be a flock of birds. Um, but like, I come and I hang. They're they're pretty cool. They're they're loud low. They're hungry every day. Like if I don't feed them, you're gonna hear them. And so typically that's what's happening whenever I'm talking to you is like I'm trying to feed them or do something. And I'm like, but yeah, they keep me humble. They really do. They come out here and they appreciate that food. You know, they they know when I'm pulling up, they'll come. One of them I thought was going to fly over the fence. I'm like, okay, no, you can't fly. So, so how the one that had the sore foot? It's still got a foot problem. I'm still no trying problem. to slowly heal it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, I haven't resorted to taking it to the vet. That's the next step. We have a, believe it or not, if I don't know if any, there is vets here that specialize in livestock. So, um, I just haven't took them in yet. So, but I'm treating it at home and it's getting better. She's still alive, so she's doing good. So you had to get another rooster, right? No, he did. Oh, you did. Oh, I did. Oh, so you. I did have two and they both attacked me on the regular. Oh, like God. it was bad. I had they to walk around with a stick <laughs> just in they case. You? I would never hit him with it, but I'd have to like yeah. push him away. I mean, huh? Listen, you know, I told you I want to. No, nobody, nothing touched on you. Don't I mean, literally, the lot, the first rooster, I was trying to put him up, and he just fell over and died while I was chasing him. And That's I'm like, oh, my gosh. Yeah, that one um, fell over and died, man. Yeah. I, that I, I guess he had a heart attack. I don't know. I don't uh, know. The second that. one, he just disappeared. I, he was here mm. one time, and then something got him. I don't mm. I have to keep him, you know, out in the country. Mm. There's, there's animals everywhere. So if you don't keep them locked up at night, they're going to be gone. So, uh, how many um, hands do you have? I have to close my eyes and think about it. I think eight. Wow. Yeah. And you just got what you get? Bought some ducks or something? Like that? Yeah, I got ducks and geese. Ducks. And so, how many eggs you get a day? Um. At least you at least eight. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I get eight. Uh, uh, and then I get the duck and the geese eggs, which I've ate. I haven't ate a goose egg, um, but I've ate a duck egg. They're pretty good. Um, and the chicken eggs are good. So I get, I've got four ducks. Eight. Yeah, so I probably get about 10, 10, 11 eggs a day. About wow. a dozen if you if I have a good day. So, um, so the duck eggs, right? Duck eggs. Yeah. So those, those are... Are they big? Are they the big ones? Yeah. The are goose, getting, the getting geese eggs are huge. Um, but the ducks are, they're like in the middle. They're, they're pretty good size. Mm -hmm. So, so would, would you sell those eggs? You sell them? No, no. I give them away a lot of times. Um, I don't really sell them. So, but half the time I can't remember to take them places. I'm like, yeah, I'll bring you some eggs. And then I, 
it's never my intentions, but I'm, I forget them every time. And so mm. I'm like, nobody wants to come get them. I live too far away. <laughs> yeah, you buy one. I want you to start selling those eggs. Get that. Well, well there's a little... lot of people around me that do. They got well, little signs up and everything. Well, you know, it is the king. You know, they, you know, people should, they should buy those eggs, really. I mean, look at all the work you do. You got to clean a chicken coop and they got that amount. I know, I know what you got to do because you're like, I don't know, I got to go out here and clean it, you know, do, give them the water. How's the water trot working? Is it, you got it all, you know, the water's going good now? Yeah, I got, um, I got that fixed and we got two, I got three pools out there for them so they can swim. Um, so I have to change that weekly. It's not like big ones. They're like the little baby pools that mm -hmm. you buy at Walmart. Um, but, you know, hey, I guess for some reason I like making, I don't know why, but I enjoy hanging out with them enough. And I, my son loves the eggs. You say they follow you around. <laughs> they follow you around everywhere you go. And I have some apple trees down here. And so I'll let them out of their fence fenced in area and they'll come down here and they'll tear these apples up and it, really? i guess it's just apples? wow it yeah a... it's really cool to see just nature because it's they're not worried about nothing they're just out here trying to get them some food and live their best life you know and when i change the water they get out there and they just swim and flip and um i don't know animals I always feel like are a good way to keep no they go out and they go out in your ponds there yeah. no they, go out, you know, they don't no. they won't go there huh no. Well, that's not their thing, is it, though? Chickens really don't do that. Well, the you ducks know, should, ducks but I think they're so domesticated. They, they're they so used to their pool. Oh. They're like, I don't know what to do with this. I mean, they would probably survive on their own if they had to, but hmm. they're, they're used so, to So, uh, have you ever thought about getting something else, like a, like a sheep or something? <laughs> well, it's funny to me that. I want to, I've been, and I don't know how I ended up on my news feed, but, um, Eventually, I'm going to get a donkey. I want a donkey. I think they're the funniest thing. I've seen something on Instagram or something where this donkey got a rubber chicken. Mm -hmm. And it was like shaking it and making all these noises. And it was the funniest thing ever. So, um, and they seem like they're really good companions. Man, so. you know, I'm going to get no lambs because I love lambs. <laughs> You're like, where my lamb go? And dad <laughs> goes, oh, he's roasting right there. Oh, that's, that's so bad. I said, man, my people eat lamb all the time, you know. So, if you, yeah, so... I know uh, sheep, they get that wool off of them, you know, they get, because um, I see here in Vermont, they be, you know, we have sheep, sheep, and when you see all this wool on them, the next minute they like all bald head or whatever. So, you know, it's very interesting, you know, how things are. And so, um, so you, you know, so you, you do a lot. So, um, so you do karate, you're a poet, and uh, you have to deal with um you you got the, the guiding light you know you, you know you were blessed with that you know and um and you have to sh and you share with everybody all right so how funny is that you know like how funny is that everybody i told you you know everybody want to be around you let me take your picture you know i think i'm gonna be your broker you know what i mean like yo you want an autograph come here yeah. i'm always trying baby. to hide somewhere i'm like trying to get behind something i'm like please just Doing things. <laughs> I tell you, I know it's kind of weird. You know, like you know, it's kind of weird when you have like a type of light, you know, you know, from the high power, you know, and and then everybody want to be around you. Everybody want to. It just, it just, it is what it is. And you be like, what the fuck? I mean, what, what, what's going on around? What's up with that? You know what I mean? You know, but you know, just like the synergy that you know, you know, the aura, you know, that you project. You know, people just want to be around. You know. A lot of people, I, a lot of people, I'm, I had no problem. People like to be around me too. All of them, a lot of people. Every time I look around, somebody, you know, I'm like, I don't, where do I know this person from? From you know, they've been through one of my programs or worked with me on something or our stuff, you know. So now, what you sitting in? Because it looks like a mural behind you. Is that a chair? It's a chair, yeah. And this cushion, uh -huh. yeah. This is a cushion, so it's nice. Just, yeah. So so um so we got um. So we got 10 people for coming from out of town to do a mural on this like 100 foot long, I'm gonna show it to you, 100 foot, uh, when, you know, when they, why they're doing it, you know? Cause I think, uh, I think, I think our cable show is gonna be out there. Um, and um, wow, so good, I'm so happy. And these are guys like real good graph writers, you know, they, they, the, they the bomb, right? And so when my, 
<clears throat> he's like, he want to do this wall. And it's like a long wall. And um, we'll try to show it to you. And the 10, they're coming from other states, you know. And um, they just want to come do some graph writing. They just want to do some... And then my friend, uh, Scott Raymond, you know, yo, I'm a, yo, you want me, you want to get up on this? You know what I mean? I'm like, yeah, like, yeah, you know, right? And I don't have to buy no paint or nothing. You know how much money that costs us, Cannon? Wow. It's like 100 feet long. Oh, my god, That costs a lot of money. I'm telling you, I know, because we've done it. It'll look good, though. It'll look oh, good. Oh, it's going to be beautiful. These guys don't mess around. But you know what they do? They spray it. They use a spray can. Yeah, yeah. They got spray. They go spray it. Like that money. takes talent. That That's takes... real good, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It looks so nice when they do it. Wow, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you when they do it. It's, oh God, they're gonna start. Oh, I think tomorrow. What's up today? Thursday. My day's been messed up all. You know, when it was Sunday, I thought it was Monday. I'm just, you know, <laughs> oh, keep me. Well, like I yeah. forgot all. I forgot all about our us having this show because I've been so busy. Like school started mm -hmm. back, and then I've had work. I went to a conference. Like I've had oh, stuff yeah. on. So uh, that's another thing, you know, before, before we get off this, we'll talk about it. How are you? you was having a great time, you know, at the car, you know, on the boat, you know, and getting your drink on, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> what, what are the damn coffers about? You know, I don't think you ever told me about that. Well, I don't really want to talk about it. That's, 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 oh, it's okay. But did you have, you learn something? Oh, uh, yeah, I did learn something. Mm -hmm. Um, So it was really, really good. And um, I'm glad that, mm -hmm. you know, I got, to obtain that information. Yeah, that's good, you know, because yeah. you know, like you gotta learn something everywhere you go, right? Even if it's just one thing, one word or something, you gotta learn. Oh, I'm always researching at work and looking for ways to learn. Um because I always feel like that's important. Oh, as long as we're curious, awesome, we're gonna it, it keeps us alive. Really curiosity is what keeps you wondering how much more can I know and learn. And you can never know everything ever. Right. No doubt. So I, yeah, I don't want to learn. I don't want to know everything either. I just want to keep keep getting better. No. Yeah. But um, she's so you you know you always research the stuff you send me. Like, so I'm like <laughs> why who the hell you find that figure that stuff find that stuff out? You got some answers. You come up with it quick. You come up with some quick stuff too. And I'm like, I'm, and I learn a lot from you know from things you send me. A lot of stuff with affirmations. Just cool stuff to see about the universe and the world and you know how power you know walking on a narrow path and things like that you know it's, it's it helps me that's why that's why we got to show Candace moment and I say I need my damn Candace moment <laughs> I don't need two minutes you know well, I always and just to give a little insight I think um for me, I talked, I've talked about it briefly, but, you know, I spent a while in the hospital and there was a time I couldn't get out of bed or walk or anything. And like my eyes start watering, just thinking about it. I, I always hold that memory. Um, but it's not a bad memory. It's a good one. Right. It, it brings me immediately to gratitude because I've been um, in a position where I couldn't have moments where I was like, I'm just going to go outside. I'm just going to go do this. I'm going to think about what I can do. Um, and so I hope if anything throughout my poetry or just human connection and daily interactions that I make each moment better than what I found it. Um, and you, and you, and you already doing it. Look, look how many um, people followers you have, like yeah. for, for content, 83, 163. And I, I don't know what this might be. It could be 400, you know, yeah. so people already are, um, you know, when you're doing what you, you know, you're supposed to be doing first of all. And, you know, and, and we were trying to figure out how we're going to get everybody involved in helping others to be, to, you know, uh, be the best. You know, not the best, but, you know, just being humble, just being, you know, loving, you know, not no hatred, you know what I mean? And um, yeah. Yeah, we're, this is the way we're doing it. And so I'm just proud of you for, you know, even like, um, you know, coming up with everything, you know, like the, um, yeah, I like her everything, but that's so bad. I'm so bad. I don't do nothing. Yes, you do. Those... You you use you help me network and get the you know we use our platforms to help each other. I mean, you we help each other do a lot. We're it we're on the same mission, which is to make this world better than. I mean, not say better. Let's make this world the best we can. Um, and in doing that, I think that it becomes contagious, right? Negativity is contagious, but positivity is more contagious. I guarantee you if someone's laughing and, and you go over and you stand next to them, 
unless you're just hating on them and then you need to think about what you're thinking. But yeah. anyways, if you're like looking we at don't somebody. Like haters. I mean, you know, we like, I mean, we love haters, you know, because when they step in our aura, they no haters, they're not haters no more until they step out of them. That's no. cool. They should learn something and spread it, spread it. So Candace, I know you got something to do. What's for dinner? I have not even gotten that far. <laughs> you let, let, let Mason make some hamburgers or something. He know how he, he's good now. He's getting better. Mm -hmm. He gets a, he seems to keep thinking he can touch the pan and he mm -hmm. burns his fingers and stuff. Mm -hmm. And it's like you mm -hmm. can't just there's a handle, but like he'll forget and just go grab it. And I'm like, no. No. Mm -hmm. But he he's getting there. He make he can make eggs and um a boy, few other I things. Know, he showed me that bacon boy. That was extra crispy. I like that. You know I gotta get some of that. Mm -mm -mm. Oh my gosh, I got a funny story about that. So um I, you know, they have the microwave, which it may not be the healthiest, but it's, it's convenient. The microwavable bacon, um, that you can get at the local, you know, Kroger or anything like that. So I taught him how to make it. And I'm like, if you want some bacon, cause he loves bacon, you can just microwave it. So he went to his grandma's house on his dad's side and ended up taking like uncooked bacon and putting like a pack, not microwavable kind. He, and put it all in the microwave and ended up microwaving it and trying to eat it. And, um, so we had to have a talk that there's a difference between microwavable bacon mm -hmm. and regular bacon. And I'm like, all right, you can't just be going to people's house and like <laughs> trying to cook their food without asking. Oh, that's funny. Oh man. But I know when you show me when you show me that you had a lot of bacon too, Nate. I'm looking, I was hungry, I don't saw that. Wow. Extra crispy. I love that. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So Candace. Oh, this is Ken. This is the Candace Moments Show. This is our first one. Yay. I'm loving it. So we're going to inspire our people. But we're going to send this, this link to everybody, all our peoples across the world. So they can get some inspiration inspired. You know, maybe you should ask them, um, what what some of the things Candace, you know, would, you know, we're on the Candace Moments Show, something that you might want to, they might actually do. I don't know. I'm just crazy. But, you know. But um, see what our uh, it's like we come up with love and faith. Maybe they have some ideas, whatever. So uh, uh oh, I know it's a bug. Oh, that's going down your right now. It's getting back. Those daggone flies and mosquitoes. I saw birds fly past your head too. Oh, those yeah, they uh, they love you. They every night there's a flock of them that come here, and I don't mm -hmm. know if they roost on the trees or what, but they fly over the house. There's just <laughs> and then in the morning they leave. So I'm like. <laughs> Oh, dear. okay. Uh, good night. And good morning. Oh, uh, man, I can't. I can't wait to get out there. I want to see. Um, I mean, oh, so what happened to that wolf or something that was out there? The uh, bear. What was that? Some kind of cat or some a, a wild cat. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Wild, I don't know. Something. It. Somebody found it, or it went. It figured out another path. I don't mm -hmm. know. I haven't heard anything about it. So. You was like, I won't go ahead with my BB gun. I said, no, you better take that shotgun out there. I'm get that little BB gun. Bah, 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 bah. Yeah. That? You'll hear all um, kinds of crazy noises out here. When I first moved uh, out here, and I don't have yeah. the, uh, lights because it blocks um the night oh. sky. So I, I have, you know, I have motion lights, but if you come out here unless you're moving, it's mm -hmm. gonna be dark. Mm -hmm. Um, but so it's dark out here. And if one of those lights go out and you ain't got a flashlight, mm -hmm. you ain't seeing nothing. It's like you just hear stuff. I'm like, oh my gosh, what is going so on over there? Is, is that the same that left ear? That's is that the same ear that I heard last time? The is ear, that what? Your ear, your ear ache, your ear pain. You got a pain. You, you still have that pain in your ear. No, it went away. Oh, good, good. Hey, so um, Candace Owens, Candace R. Owens. Yeah, we're about to the end. Are we? We're getting close show. To... Take us out. Tell me what, what's what's the what, what's the last thing? What were your nails in not pink? No, they're white. I oh, mean. well, figure that. Figure that. All right. Good if you change. I don't know how you went to the, the nail thing and picked that white. How'd you do that? It's glitter. It's white glitter. Oh, of course it's got it. Yeah. Glitter. Yeah. So, so um, what's good for the rest of the, what What you want to leave with us, you know, to inspire us and make us, you know, you know whatever you say, leave us up with something. I just want to. You know, whoever is watching the show, uh, thank you for supporting us and watching. And I hope that you feel better after listening to this and, um, you know, focus on the good in life right now, even though it's so hard, because I know that there's lots of bad things. 
that you can focus on that's so easy and it's right there in your face. But if we stick together and we all just treat thy neighbor, neighbor as we would ourselves, um, I think it, it could make a big difference. So I think in my poetry, on my website, and all of my intentions, whether it's my job or my parenting, I try to instill that we can make the world what we want by how we treat ourselves and how we treat others. And, and so I, I think. So uh, can you moments, tell, what, go yeah. ahead, what's the last thing you said? I said, that's the whole point. I think of these moments oh, is man. to mm. provide, you know, we have platforms where we can mm. help elevate and it's like, you know, that's our goal to help um, spread the light, you know, and just keep it positive, try to and stick together. So could you tell everybody again, what's your uh, website? What is your website? Um, it's www.poetrypioneer.com. Mm -hmm. um, and then my Instagram username is poetrypioneer2021. Mm -hmm. um, now, how can people buy, you know, buy their book? And tell us the name again and, and how can they, what can they get it from? Where, where can they Um, it? It's on amazon.com. Mm -hmm. And it's also, you can find the information on my website if you can't find it on Amazon. But the title is The New World Light. Poetic affirmations to create heaven on earth. Nice. So, and the, just to say, the picture on the book, um, if you'll look, it is the same background as my backyard. So, I actually took oh, the picture cool. nice. and I made that the cover of the book. So, um, you know, I thought that oh, was a pretty cool oh, customization. I got one more. I got one thing, and then you can close up. Um, Candice, so you got a you got a song published. What? <laughs> Damn. That's a cool. That's a cool song too. I like it. Yeah, so one of your poems. Wow. Yeah. Um. So wow. I submitted something on um Facebook, I believe, and mm -hmm. they used AI to turn one of my poems into a song, mm -hmm. and it turned out pretty good. I was like, right. oh, they had the beats. They had a whole band. I it was like a rock band too. Oh, I was like, was awesome. I've never had my words put with music. And so to hear it, I was like, wow, words do power. But when you put music behind it, it's even more powerful. Like I say, you know, you know, like who would have thought? I mean, like you really, they know that you, you got a song published from one of your poems. And uh, and they did it immediately. I mean, they were like, bam, you know. Yeah. And so. Um, it's on YouTube. It's I, called More Than an Avatar. Like I say, like everything works in the divine order and you don't even know what it might be. Is this yeah. too great to measure? You don't even know what it could be. That's why I say always look for something too great to measure. But you don't even know what they, what are you looking for. But you know, you know that it's gonna be too is too great to measure, wherever it is. Yeah, it I'm like, let's try order. it and see what happens, you know. And I was like, Oh wow, well, okay. Um, so it was pretty well, cool. I'm I'm happy to be your partner, and I'm happy to be your friend, and I'm happy to be, you know, working with you on everything. We do our podcasts and our cable shows and Everything, all the events we do, and all the things we do together. Um, I uh, thank you. You know, you 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 inspire me, and um, and like you know, I need my Candace moment too. You know, so um, what else you gotta say? Let's close this out. It's your show. Well, on, I'm here. getting up here right now because I feel like I always close this out or open us everything we do with a poem. Um, nice. I'm trying to find one here that I f it won't take me but a few seconds. Um. Well, maybe more in a few seconds. Okay. I think oh that's insta. Okay. Well, this is taking longer than I thought, Bruce. I'm sorry. We hey, only got a few minutes here. You know what? This is the Candace Moment show. Take as long as you want. Okay. So this one is on off my Instagram page. And um I don't have a title, but I'm just going to read it. Can we say that we love, can anyone say that we love the world we live in? Can you say that no matter how dark the world seems, the light will always win? Can you ask yourself if denying the truth is a form of sin? Can we ask each other, how do we fix this and where do we begin? You can ask and ask, but the answers you will find is not in others online, but it's actually within. We can all treat each other with compassionate actions like we are family or friends. Who said the world has to go dark and eventually end? Who says we can't start over, but never forget where we have been? Stop focusing on all the bad things in the world and look around and grin. Stop asking who, what, why, and where, and start saying when. 
Ah, that's nice. Yeah. Yeah, this guy do like I say. You gotta, you gotta, um, you know, boots on the ground. You gotta, you know, do the walk. You know, you know, and your higher power will help you all the way. You know, I mean, you just gotta stay on the narrow path and, and initiate it, right? Yeah, that's what you're saying. Wow, so nice. Well, yeah. all right, Candice R. Owens and the Candice Moment Show. Wow, that's our first one. Yeah. So down. thank you. I thought I'm sorry about the part about not being prepared. Next time I will uh, make sure I'm more I was like Yeah. You know, I'm you know, I should you know what those those questions I I, I should know too, because we both we're both the same on this thing, but you got more answers than me because you read I still feel bad about you. You read 163 poems. I didn't read none. I said, yeah, when I say I said Ken, I didn't read any. He's like, Did you read? And I'm like, I didn't read nothing. He's like, Oh, okay, I'm gonna read them. And you did. So thank you very much, and I know our um our people who who, who uh, follow us we really appreciate you and and and, and you read those points. And you got two, you got uh, three winners. Nice. Yeah. So wait, so so what's the second and third person get? Now the first one first place go come on our podcast, right? Yeah. So the first place winner will be on our October podcast. Uh, I have not received confirmation yet from them though, so I'm going to keep trying to contact them. Um, the second and third place winner receive a copy of our book or my, our book, my book. They used to receive a copy of the book. Um, but when they do, my thing is I am learning that there's international like shipping. So trying to get, I just want to say that in case they watch the show, you know, if I'm trying to get the book over there, there may be, but I'm going to try my best. So. No, we'll make it happen. Yep. Yes, ma'am. So, all right. I know you got to go feed the chickens or something. Yeah, I got to go do something. So, but thank you so much for for giving me these opportunities, Bruce. I hope yeah. that um if anything we we offer some different content, right? Just spice it up a little bit. So, um I hope people enjoy it. And if you have any recommendations, like you said, just reach out to one of us. We're open and um let's make no this doubt. world better. Yeah, we and we want to continue to get better ourselves and learn too from everybody. So, yep. uh, you think we should be um, saying something differently or learning or something new um let us know you know you can always you know, you know just let us know so um all right all right so, talk to you later right, bye have a good rest of your day all right you bye. too bye thank you see you bye